Applying the sporting principle, Tony Windsor, do you believe it works? <laughs> well, I'm not sure what the, what the sporting principle is, but uh, what, I, what I would Which is say... If the coach doesn't work, you get rid of him. <laughs> <laughs> what, what I would say, though, is that democracy is a very fragile institution. And what we don't need is people uh, to walk away for a period of time at the moment where there's a, a loss of faith in the political process. The way to change that is to get more involved in that process, to be involved. I've had a saying for many years that the world is run by those who turn up. If you, if you turn up, you can make a difference to your own world, uh, whether that be in politics or in many other ways. But if you, the worst thing you can do is just turn your back on it and saying, say they're all the same. That will allow these careerists to come through on both sides of politics and uh, we will see a, a slide in terms of uh, understanding of politics and appreciation of the people that are within it. So get involved, encourage young people to be involved, not to walk away from it. Louise Adler? I think that's a terrific message. I think it's very important for us and this, that's why I think there are so many people here tonight because they actually, we as citizens actually determine the political culture and that we have and if we are not you know, persuasive or we're not persuaded by the politicians we have, we have an opportunity to do something about that at the ballot box. But I would like to recommend that if you want to know oh, about oh, the crisis oh, in Louise Adler, put it away. I'm allowed to do it. It's Take very the, important get the volume camera off and <laughs> it's out shortly in Mianjin, is there a crisis in democracy? <laughs> Honestly, this, 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 this woman yeah. is unstoppable. Yeah. And yeah. Like well, I, would say, I would say in the answer to that, as someone who has been the subject of scrutiny at that level, I, don't, I never felt I suffered from a lack of scrutiny yeah, exactly. uh, when I was in the position. <laughs> right. uh, you know, you, you start the morning and you're on the front page and you end the night knowing that people in the pub are talking about you, uh, and, you and they pretty much haven't stopped all day if it's a big enough issue. And, and I mean that, you know, very genuinely, I think Australians are actually pretty, um, you know, pretty tough on their politicians uh, in a good way. Um, I can't imagine how much more scrutiny some people could deal with in those <laughs> positions. Annabelle Crabb? All I'll say about politics and sport is that uh, in politics, if you're using fewer drugs than the footy players and better language than the tennis players, you're doing all right. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're ahead. <laughs> and the last word this evening goes to my old friend, Peter Reith. Thank you so much. Um, well, look, we do have lots of scrutiny, so I don't think that's much of a problem. But I mean, if somebody's got a good idea to, you know, make it even more closer, you know, get closer to the politicians, that's fair enough, I suppose. But I do think we ought to be looking at the way in which we are managing, you know, the opportunities for people to get in. And so, in, in something I've written for tomorrow, as an old bloke, but um, there was a, a lady senator in Tasmania mm. who's about to lose her seat uh, because she wasn't in the right faction and. I think that's a sad thing, and I think there are lots of examples where we could do better, both in the Liberal Party and Labor's side as well, to ensure that the, you know, the opportunities really are there. And I, I'm quite happy to say I think the Liberals need to do more on that as well. Quotas, very quickly. Well, very I'm still quickly. keen on, on merit as the sort of principal thing, because I, you've really, you know, the Australian yeah, public it, are entitled to the best they can get. Assuming that they're so, good, quotas? Well, uh, no, I still have a question mark, but, uh, but I do say that we need to do more. Okay. And merit there are seems to be rather a male quality on the whole. Well, <laughs> look, I've got to... <laughs> Honestly, I... I will say that I'd say this. I have I have accepted the proposition that we keep talking about merit and don't seem to do much better. So, yeah. you know, if somebody could come up with some happy solution to it, personally, I think we should be looking at it.